I'm Erica Olson and welcome to Inside SoCal. It's May 5th, which means Cinco de Mayo and cause for celebration here in Los Angeles. When LA Cha 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 opened its doors in 2021, it was an instant hit. This sister restaurant to the original in Mexico City was a no-brainer for owner Javier Hernandez Pons. I really love California, so I knew this LA was a place to be. We managed to get this beautiful rooftop, and uh, well, it's it's been really fun since then. LA is for for me is the most the city that most relates to Mexico City. You get cultures from all over the place, and that's. You get that in Mexico City as well. So we're going to prepare our coconut ceviche. Uh, we have the shrimp here that we cure in lemon and lime juice. And then we're going to toss all this with some coconut brine. So it's so bright and colorful. Yeah, that's what we were going for. Something nice and clean for the heat. You can come here with friends and have really nice food, good service, and good drinks as well. And speaking of Cinco de Mayo, they have some fun things in store at the restaurant. We're gonna have a mechanic bowl, and really? yeah, it's gonna be a fun, fun day. Why did you want to do that? I don't know, we just wanted to do something different uh, than what everybody normally does, and we're gonna have $10 margaritas all day, and uh, the mechanic bowl, and at night, we're having two groups. Grupo Bella, that it's like an all-girl mariachi band Fine. that we really love, and uh, then a uh, DJ at night. Very so nice. it's gonna be a party the whole day. How does it feel to be able to come from Mexico City and bring the flavors that you're so familiar with to a city that so much wants to embrace that? The food is really important for Mexicans. Like, it's always having fun in the table and for all our families, it's like hosting a big party. So it's translating that to the restaurant. It, it's what's most important for me. All right, what's your favorite dish on the menu? My favorite dish on the menu are the carnitas. Mm, yeah, I it's love carnitas. yeah. They're slow cooked carnitas uh, with this orange tangy flavor. It's they're really nice. All right, there's the party. A taste of Mexico City in LA. Cheers to that. Shall we yeah. cheers to that? Yes. If you're celebrating Cinco de Mayo today, do you know its origin? Well, we're off to La Plaza de Cultura y Artes in downtown LA to learn. Thank Hi, you. Esperanza. Hi, so nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. <laughs> thank you for having me here. Of course, thank you for coming. This I really appreciate it. Incredible. La Plaza is a vital cultural resource, offering theater, music, exhibitions, and workshops focusing on Latino historical perspectives, like teaching the history of Cinco de Mayo through music and dance. People learn in different ways through dance, music, hands-on activities. So when you do come to uh, Cinco de Mayo here at La Plaza Culturales, all the senses are activated, different ways of learning. And it's a great way to uh, bring your families, multi-generational experiences, and create family memories through these uh, public programs. Cinco de Mayo has come to represent many things. It commemorates the Mexican Army's victory over the French at the Battle of Puebla on May 5, 1862. At the same time, the U.S. was fighting the Civil War, and Mexican Americans in California were fighting for the Union for fear of being enslaved. So over the years, this holiday has become a representation of Mexican independence, culture, and heritage. I think when it comes to Cinco de Mayo, it's known as a big celebration holiday because not only you're integrating the history of what happened in Puebla, but you're also integrating the Mexican culture and for people to become familiar with what happened on Cinco de Mayo. I'm an LA historian, I've always loved history, and I think for me it's very important for Latinos to know that their history and uh, culture is very intertwined with Los Angeles. This is probably the only museum in Los Angeles that really focuses on the history, the art and culture of Latinos and how they're very important and how their contributions in Los Angeles really not only founded the city, but also built the city as well. It's so much more fun to celebrate when you know the true meaning behind it, don't you think? Exactly, yeah. So these are famous LA churros. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you so much, Javier. Here's to a little bit of Mexico in LA. I'm Erica Olson for Inside SoCal. We'll see you next Sunday. Inside SoCal is presented by Dignity Health. Hello, human kindness.